friends, it's Paige Evans. I'm so excited to be a part of this 12 Days of Christmas YouTube series with Tina Gale and Heather's Crafty Life. My challenge was to use needle and thread. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me needle and thread. So hand stitching on layouts is one of my favorite techniques. I'm excited to share this layout with you, so let's get started. The first thing I did is I used the pen tool in my Silhouette Cameo and put a pencil in it and had it draw this Nordic background design that I created for Silhouette, so I'll leave a link to that below. And so it drew all these little squares and then I used a paper piercer to pierce a hole at every corner. Took some time, maybe my machine can do it for me but I haven't figured out quite how yet, so in the meantime, just doing it myself. <laughs> so here is the cardstock. It's ready to be stitched. I'm going to do a bunch of cross stitching and um, I did alter the cut file just a little bit to leave that open space. I knew that's where I wanted to put my photo so I didn't want to do all that stitching just to cover it up. And then what I did is I took a screenshot of the design in Silhouette Studio because I want to figure out the colors before I start stitching. And so I'm roughly, super roughly, co coloring over the images with colored pencils just to get a basic idea of the colors I want to use. I know I want to use traditional and non-traditional colors, and I didn't have it exactly figured out, but I pretty much went, um, I did by stitching based on these colors that I did. Anyway, so I'm going to stitch the reindeer first, so I'm picking a color of thread that's brown and going to start cross stitching. If you don't know how to cross stitch, you just stitch an X. <laughs> Go in and out and in and out and make an X, X shape all the way through. They all connect together and it's fun. Maybe you remember your grandma doing this or my mom did it when I was younger and it's just a fun pastime and kind of therapeutic if you enjoy this sort of thing. I binge watched the new show Good Doctor on Hulu and uh, yeah, it was really fun. Took a break every now and then to get my steps in and took pictures of my progress to share on Instagram. So it was just a really fun project. I'll show you some progress videos along the way. I think all in all, the, all of this cross stitching took about 11 hours. But again, totally worth it and I love doing it. So if it's not your cup of tea, totally understand. But yeah, I love doing this stitching all the way. So here I'm almost done. Just have to do a few more bits and pieces. And I decided instead of yellow for this chevron design at the top, I went with a lime green. Oh, I forgot to mention that all these colors pretty much coordinate with my Turn the Page collection with Pink Paisley because I knew I wanted to embellish with my collection. So that's where I got the colors from for the most part. And then I went off the grid. I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. I went rogue and added a few more stitches just by hand at the top. I thought it was kind of empty right in these uh, gaps between the chevrons. So I went ahead and stitched my own cross stitches using a light pink thread. And then I thought it looked done and ready to move on. Again, it took about 11 hours to complete, but I loved the results. So I say it's worth it. There was a little bit more white space on the right and bottom edges, so I trimmed them off and then I'm going to pick a pattern paper to create a nice colorful border. This one I felt was too, too perfect. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but I wanted it to be a little more hodgepodge. And so this paper, I love how the, how the color blocks weren't evenly spaced because of these triangle wedges. You get different lengths of color around the edges and I love how that looked and it coordinates perfectly with, this, uh, with the colors of thread that I chose. So moving on. I had these pieces of doily border punches sitting around and decided to trim them into groups of three to border my photo a little bit. It's a picture of Fox and Jane in their Christmas jammies. And this design reminds me of the designs that were on their jammies, so I thought it went well. I did a little bit of machine stitching around the border to attach the pieces together in place permanently. And then I'm going to rough up the edges with my scissors and fingernails for added texture around the edges. Yep, just getting the end edges of the scissors right up underneath there and 
creating that texture. I layered some embellishments from Turn the Page on the right side. That's going to be where I make my title. I'm keeping the embellishments and everything to a bare minimum, friends, because I spent so long on the background, I want the background to be the star of the show, but I also need to have the photo and the title and the journaling, so I will add as little as I can, but still make it cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm using these transparent alpha stickers from my Turn the Page sticker book and putting them on some scrap paper, cutting it out, and this is the title, X Miss Jams, so short for Christmas jammies, putting it on top of that cluster that I made from die cuts and a journaling spot. It was my daughter's idea. She's like, oh, mommy, you should put these gingerbread people here and there, a boy for Fox and a girl for Jane. And I was like, little genius girl. So there you can see she was watching me scrap and I loved her suggestion. So I'm doing just that. Um, I didn't know exactly where I wanted to place these stickers. They're not even gingerbread men. They're just paper chain people, but they kind of remind me of gingerbread men, so it's perfect. Uh, so I put them on white cardstock first, fussy cut them out, and now they're like die cuts so I can move them around. And also I like how that gets rid of the transparency a bit so you won't be able to see what's underneath. Fussy cut those out, trying to figure out where to place them. I'm going to end up putting them on the left side of the photo with a chipboard arrow sticker underneath. And here's Jane, yeah, she was just sitting with me scrapping, so you'll see her hands every now and then. Um, I typed and printed the journaling and I'm trimming it into strips. This is one of those things that I didn't end up doing, but I'm just showing you the whole process. So I thought about putting these journaling strips underneath, but then I decided it was too structured. You know, I need a little bit of whimsy, a little bit of random. So I wrote my journaling on this tag and I'm going to tuck it behind the photo and I love that layer that it adds. So here is the finished layout. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are inspired to do some needle and thread stitching on your next layout. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the layouts in this 12 Days of Christmas YouTube series with Tina Gale and Heather's Crafty Life. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.